The Karelian Isthmus Russian, Karelsky Parasik translate. Karelsky Parasik, Finnish, Karhalikanas, Swedish, Karelska Naset is the approximately 45 to 110 km wide stretch of land, situated between the Gulf of Finland and Lake Ladoga in northwestern Russia, to the north of the River Neva between 61 degrees 21 in, 59 degrees 46 in and 27 degrees 42 e, 31 degrees 08 e. Its northwestern boundary is the relatively narrow area between the Bay of Vyborg and Lake Ladoga. If the Karelian Isthmus is defined as the entire territory of present-day St. Petersburg and Leningrad Oblast to the north of the Neva, the Isthmus area covers about 15,000 square kilometers. The smaller part of the Isthmus to the southeast of the old Russia-Finland border is considered historically as northern Ingria, rather than part of the Karelian Isthmus itself. The rest of the Isthmus was historically a part of Finnish Karelia. This was conquered by the Russian Empire during the Great Northern War in 1712 and included within the Autonomous Grand Duchy of Finland 1809 of the Russian Empire. When Finland became independent in 1917, the Isthmus except for the territory roughly corresponding to present-day Sevolozhsky district and some districts of St. Petersburg remained Finnish. Finnish Karelia was ceded to the Soviet Union by Finland following the Winter War 1939-1940 and Continuation War 1941-1944. In 1940-1941, during the interim peace, most of the ceded territories in the Isthmus were included within the Karelo-Finnish SSR. However, since World War II the entire isthmus has been divided between the city of St. Petersburg mostly Kurortny district, as well as Pryazersky district, Sevolozhsky district and Vyborgsky district of Leningrad Oblast. According to the 2002 census, the population of the Kurortny district of St. Petersburg and the parts of Leningrad Oblast situated on the Karelian isthmus amounts to 539,000. Many St. Petersburg residents also decamped to the isthmus during their vacations. Topic. Geography and wildlife The isthmus terrain has been influenced dramatically by the Weichselian glaciation. Its highest point lies on the Lembolovo Heights moraine at about 205 metres 670 feet. There are no mountains on the isthmus, but steep hills occur in some places. The Vuoksi, largest river, runs southeastwards from Lake Saima of Finland to Lake Ladoga, dividing the isthmus into two uneven parts. Saima Canal opened in 1856 links Lake Saima to the Bay of Vyborg. The Karelian Isthmus lies within the ecoregion of Scandinavian and Russian taiga. Geobotanically, it lies at the juncture of the Central European, Eastern European and Northern European floristic provinces of the circumboreal region of the Holarctic Kingdom. The isthmus is mostly covered by coniferous forests formed by Scots pine Pinus sylvestris and Norway spruce Picea abbeys, with numerous lakes e.g. Lake Sukodolskoy and Lake Glubokoy as well as small grass, fen and sphagnum raised bogs. Forests cover approximately 11.700 km of the isthmus, more than three-fourths of its total square. Swampy areas occupy on average 5.5% of the territory. In the large contiguous area along the shore of Lake Ladoga in Sevolozhsky district, in the southeastern part of the isthmus, bogs occur much more frequently than in other parts. The same was once true of the lowland along the Neva River, which has been drained. The soil is predominantly podsol, which contains massive boulders, especially in the north and northwest, where large granite rocky outcrops occur. Pine forests with Pinus sylvestris are the most widespread and occupy 51% of the forested area of the Karelian Isthmus, followed by spruce forests with Picea abbeys, 29%, and birch forests with Betula pendula and B. pubescens, 16%. Stands on more fertile soils and in more favorable locations are occasionally dominated by Norway maple, black alder, gray alder, common aspen, English oak, gray willow, dark-leaved willow tea-leaved willow, small-leaved lime or European white elm. Common vegetation of various types of pine forests includes heather, crowberry, common juniper, eared willow, lingonberry, water horsetail, bracken, graminoids i.e. grasses in the wider sense Avenea flexosa and Carex globularis, mosses pleurosium shrebberry, sphagnum angustifolium and S. russivi, and lichens cladonia spp. 
Prominent in various spruce forests are wood horsetail, common wood sorrel, bilberry, lingonberry, graminoids avenea flexosa, calamagrostis arundinacea, carex globularis, and mosses polytrichum commune and sphagnum gergensoni. Prominent vegetation of various birch forests include meadowsweet, common wood sorrel, bilberry, and graminoids calamagrostis arundinacea and C. caneskens. 1184 species of wild vascular plants are recorded in the isthmus. See also the list of the vascular plants of the Karelian Isthmus. Red squirrel, moose, red fox, mountain hare and boar reintroduced are typical inhabitants of the forests. The climate of the Isthmus is moderately continental, with 650–800 mm average precipitation per year, long snowy winters lasting from November through mid-April and occasionally reaching about 40 degrees Celsius moderately cool summers and short frost-free period. Compared to other parts of the Leningrad Oblast, the winter here is usually milder due to the moderating influence of the Gulf of Finland, but longer. The city of Vyborg and the town of Pryazursk are situated on the northwestern part of the isthmus. The Karelian Isthmus is a popular place for hiking, cycling, skiing and Kavgolovo, climbing near Kuznechnoi, canoeing Losevo, fishing for consumption of carp bream, northern pike, roach, European perch, roof, burbot and others, mushroom hunting for porcini, red-capped scaber stock, birch bolete, velvet bolete, slippery jack, golden chanterelle, lactarius resimus, woolly milk cap, ugly milk cap, saffron milk cap, lactarius rufus, various rusulas and others, berry picking of bilberry, raspberry, woodland strawberry, cowberry, cranberry, cloudberry, bog bilberry and stone bramble. It is a popular summer resort for St. Petersburg citizens since the late 19th century, served by trains of Finlyansky Rail Terminal. The Isthmus, especially the land along St. Petersburg Vyborg and St. Petersburg Pryazursk Railroads, hosts numerous dachas. A 20 to 35 kilometers wide stretch of land in Vyborgsky district and Republic of Karelia to the west of the Vyborg Hiatola railway as well as the islands and shores of the Gulf of Vyborg belongs to the strictly guarded zone of the border control reaching the shore of Lake Ladoga at Hiatola. In 1993 to 2006 the zone was formally 5 kilometers wide although in fact it has always been much wider. Visiting it is forbidden without a permit issued by the FSB by KGB during the time of the Soviet Union. Topic: <inaudible> Geological history. Geologically the Karelian Isthmus lies on the southern edge of the Baltic Shield's crystalline bedrock. During the final part of the last Weichselian glaciation, deglaciation in the central parts of the isthmus started as early as 14,000 BP, when it formed the bottom of a large lake dammed by the surrounding ice sheet. During further deglaciation, at the time of the Baltic Ice Lake, an early high water stage of the Baltic Sea, when the ice sheet retreated to Salpaselka, the upland area of the isthmus remained a large island and many upland lakes emerged. Prior to 12,650 BP, the land was characterized by harsh Arctic conditions with permafrost and sparse vegetation. Steppe tundra complexes developed after this point. Around 11,000 BP climate began to warm and became humid, first pine and birch forests were established, around 9,000 BP Ancelus Lake, another stage of the Baltic Sea, retreated, and many lowland lakes were also isolated in depressions formed earlier by glacial exoration and fluvioglacial activity. Lake Ladoga was separated from the sea as well. Due to land uplift, around 5,000 BP the river Vuoxi started emptying into Lake Ladoga as a new outlet of Lake Saima. Lake Ladoga transgressed, flooding lowland lakes and the Vuok Sea, and became connected with the sea at Hynajoki now Vishevo, to the east of present-day Vyborg. Around 3100-2400 BP the Neva River emerged, draining Lake Ladoga into the Baltic Sea. Ladoga level gradually sank from 15 to 18 meters to its modern position of 4 to 5 meters above sea level, and lowland lakes were isolated again. However, the Vuoxi still had a significant direct outflow connection to the Bay of Vyborg, possibly as late as in the 12th century AD. The connection disappeared due to ongoing land uplift in the second millennium AD. In 1818 a canal, which was dug to drain spring flood waters from Lake Suvanto now Lake a 40 km long narrow lake in the eastern part of the isthmus into Lake Ladoga, unexpectedly eroded and turned into the Taipalinajoki now Bernaya River. The Taipalinajoki started draining Suvanto and decreased its level by 7 meters. 
Originally waters of Lake Suvanto flowed into the Vuoxi River through a waterway at Kivanyemi now Losevo, but as a result of the change, the waterway dried out. In 1857 the canal was dug there, but the stream reversed direction, revealed rapids and rendered navigation at Kivanyemi impossible. Since 1857 Suvanto and the Taipalinajoki have constituted the southern armlet of the Vuoxi River, which has decreased the level of the original northern armlet emptying into Ladoga near Kexholm now by 4 metres, isolating it as a separate river basin. Cities, towns and urban type settlements History Archaeology Apart from the old towns of Vyborg and Pryazersk, and churches on the Konovets island of Lake Ladoga, since the late 19th century a number of other archaeological sites have been discovered on the isthmus. Numerous archaeological remnants of the Mesolithic, Neolithic, Copper Age and Bronze Age occur all over the isthmus. The eastern part of the Karelian isthmus hosts a number of medieval remnants. There are many grave pits of Karelians of the 10th-15th centuries with metal and ceramic artifacts along the northern armlet of the Vuoxi, near Lake Sukhodolskoy and in a few other places in Pryazersky district. On the southern shore of Lake Sukhodolskoy small medieval burial mounds are abundant as well. A lot of large cult stones have been found along these bodies of water, as well as agglomerations of cairns. Remnants of several rural settlements were also discovered there as well as on the shore of Lake Ladoga. Remnants of the Teori town 10th -15th centuries were excavated on a former island in the northern Vuoxi armlet near the Teori village now a few treasures of silver adornments and medieval Arabian and Western European coins have also been found, as the isthmus laid on the Volga trade route at that time, the Vuoxi River had a distributary emptying into the Bay of Vyborg. Prehistory and medieval Ancestors of Finnic people wandered to the Karelian isthmus possibly around 8500 BC. In the 11th century, Sweden and Novgorod Republic started to compete tax holding rights. The Treaty of Notborg of 1323 established a border between them along the rivers now known as the Sestra and the Volchia. 17th 20th centuries During 17th century, Sweden gained the whole isthmus and also Ingria. In this time, many Karelians escaped to Tavares Karelia. From 1721 to 1812 the isthmus belonged to the Russian Empire, one in the Great Northern War that started with the Russian conquest of Ingria where the new imperial capital, St. Petersburg, was founded 1703 in the southern end of the isthmus, in place of old Swedish town Nyanskins. Then in 1812, the northwestern half was transferred, as a part of Old Finland, to the autonomous Grand Duchy of Finland, created in 1809 and in a personal union with Russia. Due to its size, favorable climate, rich fishing waters and proximity to St. Petersburg, the capital of the Russian Empire, the Karelian Isthmus became the wealthiest part of Finland once the Industrial Revolution had gained momentum in the 19th century. The railroads St. Petersburg Vyborg Rihamaki 1870, Vyborg Hiatola Sortavala 1893, St. Petersburg Kexholm Hiatola 1917 crossed the Isthmus, contributing to its economic development. By the end of the 19th century the nearby areas along the St. Petersburg-Vyborg section had become popular place of summer resort for wealthy St. Petersburgers. When Finland declared its independence in 1917, the isthmus except for the territory roughly corresponding to present-day Sevolozhsky district and some districts of St. Petersburg remained Finnish, part of the Viapuri province with its centre in Viapuri, the second largest Finnish city. A considerable part of the remaining area populated by Ingrian Finns seceded from Bolshevist Russia as the Finland-backed Republic of North Ingria, but was reintegrated with Russia in the end of 1920 according to the conditions of the Treaty of Tartu. In 1928–1939 parts of the isthmus which belonged to Russia constituted the Kuovici National District with its center in Toksova, with Finnish as the official language, according to the policy of national delimitation in the Soviet Union. However, in 1936 the entire Finnish population of the parishes of Valkyasari, Lempala, Vuale and Miakalainen along the Finnish border was deported by the Soviet government. 
<laughs> World War II A number of defensive lines crossed the isthmus during the Soviet-Finnish hostilities in World War II, such as Mannerheim Line, VKT Line, VT Line, Main Line, Finnish, and Core Soviet, and fronts moved back and forth over it. In November 1939, the Soviet Union staged the shelling of Mainila and invaded Finland in what became known as the Winter War, which took a disproportionately heavy death toll on the Red Army. Only in February 1940 did the Soviet forces manage to penetrate the Mannerheim line across the isthmus, the strength of which is often exaggerated. Finland ceded the Karelian Isthmus and Ladoga Karelia to the Soviet Union in the Peace of Moscow of March 12. According to the protocol appended to the Moscow Peace Treaty, the fighting was ended at noon Leningrad time, March 13, and by March 26 the Finnish troops had been completely withdrawn. The entire Karelian population of the ceded areas of about 422,000 people was evacuated to other parts of Finland see evacuation of Finnish Karelia. On March 31 most of the ceded territories were incorporated into karelo finnish SSR by a decision of the Supreme Council of the Soviet Union in the Karelian Isthmus the districts of Joski, Kexholm and Vyborg. The districts of Kanejarvi, Koivista and Rautu as well as the town of Tarijoki were, however, included into Leningrad Oblast. In 1941, during World War II, Germany invaded the Soviet Union in Operation Barbarossa. Few days later continuation war as it is known in Finland it is considered to be a front of the Great Patriotic War in the Soviet Union and Russia started. Finland initially regained the lost territory, reaching the Russian side of the border of 1939 and seen by the Russians as indirectly contributing to the siege of Leningrad see Finnish reconquest of the Karelian Isthmus 1941. Some 260,000 Karelian evacuees returned home. On 9 June 1944, strong Soviet forces opened the Vyborg Offensive and pushed the front from the pre-1939 border to Vyborg in 10 days. The returned Karelians were evacuated to Finland again. In the Battle of Telaya Hantala, the 25th of June to the 9th of July, the Finns concentrated their military strength and brought the offensive to a halt at the river Vuoksi, in the northwesternmost part of the isthmus, at the closest point only 40 kilometers from the border of 1940. The Moscow armistice ending the war was signed on September 19, 1944. The entire isthmus became Soviet, although most of it has never been captured by the Soviets in battles. This time the ceded territories of the Karelian Isthmus including the districts of Joski, Kexholm and Vyborg were incorporated into Leningrad Oblast unlike Ladoga Karelia, which remained within the karelo finnish SSR. The border of the Moscow Peace Treaty 1940 was recognized by Finland again in the Peace of Paris, 1947. After the war As a result of the war, the population of the Karelian Isthmus has been almost completely replaced. After the war the Isthmus was included into the Leningrad Oblast and people from other parts of the Soviet Union, mostly Russian, were settled here. The vast majority of the old Finnish toponyms in the conquered territories were renamed to invented Russian ones by the government around 1948. The Finnish toponyms of the territories included within Karelo Finnish SSR and of the southern part of the isthmus albeit assimilated mostly remained. A lot of youth summer camps were built all over the isthmus during the time of the Soviet Union. Some of them still exist. Topic: <laughs> Transport. The western part of the Karelian Isthmus is an important transport corridor linking Scandinavia and central Russia. Primorsk, terminus of the Baltic pipeline system, which has recently become one of the most efficient Russian sea ports, is also located here. The only motorway on the Isthmus is the recently completed E18 Scandinavia M10 going from St. Petersburg through Vyborg and Valima. Saima Canal opened in 1856 is an important link connecting inland waterways of Finland with the Gulf of Finland. The Karelian Isthmus is served by a number of railways. The trains arrive from Finlyansky Rail Terminal and Ladozhsky Rail Terminal of St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg Hiatola Railroad. Eastern part of the St. Petersburg Rihamaki Railroad. St. Petersburg, Sestoretsk, Belustrov. Southern part of the Vyborg Yoensu Railroad, St. Petersburg, Sevolozhsk, Ladozhskoy Ozero, 
St. Petersburg, Sevolozhosk, Petrokarpost, Nevskaya Dubrovka, Vyborg, Veshivo, earlier also through Zhitkovo to Mitcheringskoy, Kamenogorsk, Svetogorsk, Amatra, Zelenogorsk, Primorsk, Sovetsky, Vyborg. Topic. Industry The pulp and paper, timber and woodworking industries JSC Svetogorsk, pulp and paper mill in Svetogorsk, Vyborgsky pulp and paper mill in Vyborg, Pryazersky furniture and woodworking industrial complex and Pryazersky woodworking factory in Pryazersk, as well as other smaller enterprises all over the isthmus are well developed in Vyborgsky and Pryazersky districts. The pulp and paper industry, however, affects the environment adversely. The predecessor of the Pryazersk facilities, Pryazersky Pulp and Paper Mill, a major polluter of Lake Ladoga constructed in 1931, was closed down in 1986. Northern and western parts of the isthmus are also an important reserve of granite quarries in Kuznechnoi, as well as a number of others along the Vyborg Hiatola Railroad. Vyborg Shipyard is one of the largest shipbuilding companies in northwestern Russia. Rosker Battery Farm in Pervomeskoy is a leading producer of chicken and eggs. In Sevolozhsky District state-owned Morozov plant is located, which is an important producer of paints, adhesives, abrasives and other substances. In Kuzmolovsky, Sevolozhsky District, near the station Kapitolovo of the St. petersburg Hiatola Railroad, a facility of the St. Petersburg nuclear enterprise Isotop is located, which specializes in transportation of nuclear materials and radioactive waste. Bogs of Sevolozhsky district along the shores of Lake Ladoga and the Neva River were major sources of peat for fuel. Now it is extracted in smaller quantities, mostly for agricultural purposes. The district is also an important supplier of sand. A plant of Ford Motor Company producing Ford Focus cars was opened in Sevolozhsk in 2002. <laughs> Military The Karelian Isthmus is included within Leningrad Military District of the Armed Forces of the Russian Federation. The Isthmus hosts airfields in Lavashovo, Pribilovo and Gromovo. Other airfields in Vashevo and Kasimovo have been abandoned. In the northern part of Sevolozhsky District, to the south of the old Finnish border, Karelian Fortified Region is located, which was reconstructed as late as in the 1960s, but now seems to be abandoned as well. There is Babachinsky Tank Range 195.975 square kilometers, founded in 1913 between Kamenka and Kirilovskoy and a number of military facilities in Sevolozhsky District in the lowlands between Lake Ladoga and St. Petersburg Hiatola Railroad, including Zhevsky Artillery Range founded in 1879, a huge area, 740 square kilometers 286 square miles, encircled by the Road of Life, the roads Zhevka, Novoy Deviatkino and Novoy Deviatkino Kino, Matoxa and the coast of Lake Ladoga available to visitors since 2003. In 2006 a Voronezh early warning radar was built in Lektuzi, Sevolozhsky district. The port of Vysotsk is a base of the Baltic Fleet, 138th Guards Motor Rifle Brigade is located in Kamenka, and in the 56th District Training Center in Sertolovo. Notable people from the Isthmus Topic. Finnish period Marti Atisari, Finnish president Georg Elfvengren, Finnish military commander Gustav Hagland, Finnish military commander Max Jakobsen, Finnish diplomat Gustav Kampa, Finnish chemist Juho Niukkonen, Finnish politician Karl Leonard Osh, Finnish military commander Lauren Periski, Finnish oral poet Edith Sodergren, Swedish-speaking Finnish poet. Lori Torni, born in Viapori, Torni was a soldier and winner of the Mannerheim Cross during the Continuation War, who later served with the German and American armies. Uno Ulberg, Finnish architect. Johannes Verolainen, Finnish politician. Artori Ilmari Vertinen, Finnish chemist, recipient of the 1945 Nobel Prize in Chemistry. Topic. Soviet and post-Soviet period Elena Pogrebishskaya Ilya Stokolov Nastasia Samberskaya 
Lobov Kozareva cross country skier Elena Konjalainen Topic References Topic Cultural References The Karelian Isthmus is the name of the debut album of the Finnish band Amorphous. External links Detailed and historical maps site navigation in Russian Site of the local history association Karelia in Russian Tarijoki.spb.ru in Russian Further reading Balasov E. A. Karolsky Parasik Zemla Nizvedana. Yugo Zapadnij Sector Cast 1. Kivinapa Terioki Pervomaj Skoizlenovor. Spibi Novo Vrema 1998. ISBN 5-93045-016-1. Balasov E. A. Karolsky Parasik Zemla Nizvedana. Yugo Zapadnij Sector Cast 2. Yuzikarkopolani. Spibi Novo Vrema 2000. ISBN 5-87517-022-0 Balasov E. A. Karolsky Parasik Zemla Nizvedana. Yugo Zapadnij Sector Cast 3, Kanalarvi Kuolemarvi Pobedapinersk Spibi Novo Vrema 1998. ISBN 5-93045-017-X. Balasov E. A. Karolsky Parasik Zemla Nizvedana. Cast 2-3. Yugo Zapadnij Sector Uzikurko Kualemarvi Kanalarvi Palani Krasna Dalina Pobeda 2 E Izd, Pereira Bida Spibi Niva 2002. ISBN 5-86456-124-X. Sitov D. I. Karolsky Parasik Zemla Nizvedana. Cast 4. Vostoknij Sector Rautu Sakola Sisnovo Gromovo. Spibi Nordmed Izdat 2000. ISBN 5-93114-040-9. Balasov E. A. Karolsky Parasik Zemla Nizvedana. Cast 5. Zapadnij Sector Kojvisto Primorsk. Spibi Kultinform Press 2002. ISBN 5 8392 0216 9. Balasov E. A. Karolsky Parasik Zemla Nizvedana. Cast 5 6. Zapadnij Sector Kojvisto Johannes Primorsk Sovetskij 2 E. Izd. Isper Ida. Spibi Niva 2003. ISBN 5-86456-102-9. Orhoff D. I. Balasov E. A. Karolsky Parasik Zemla Nizvedana. Cast 7. Centralnij Sector Muola Oropa Krasnoselskoy Barasevo. Spibi Niva 2004. ISBN 5-86456-078-2. Orhoff D. I. Balasov E. A. Karolsky Parasik Zemla Nizvedana. Cast 8. Vostoknij Sector Metsaperti Zaporozhskoy Spibi Niva 2005. ISBN 5-86456-116-9. Balasov E. A. Karolsky Parasik Zemla Nizvedana. Cast 9. Centralnij Sector Valkurvi Vuoksela Mikaringskoy Ramoski. Spibi Niva 2005. ISBN 5-86456-065-0. Sitov D. I. Karolsky Parasik Zemla Nizvedana. Cast 10. Severo Vostoknij Sector Rajsala Melnikovo. Spibi 2006. ISBN 5 86456 118 5. Illustrirovanij Opridalitl Rastanij Karolskogo Parasejka Pod Red. A L Budanseva G. P. Akavlova Spibi Speklet 2000. 